Welcome back to a new video here in Suave. I'm not showing my face because I'm pretty busy with a bunch of stuff, so I don't have time to actually record and edit all that stuff. But anyways, so I wanted to do this free transition and I wanted to give it to you because I've been thinking and working on uh, this idea that I had of making a flat transitions bundle. And so yeah, this is just like a test run of one that I built and it's just like these pretty simple and basic you can add stuff to it if you want and these are the things that you can color i didn't divide it into sections because i haven't had the time to run the codes for that yet but in the bundle they will be all more organized but this is what it looks like you can change pretty much all these things here and one cool thing that you can do is change the angle that it has here so let me show you how you can use these first of all what you're gonna need is you're gonna have your videos that you want to use for example let's cut this real quick here the two different videos like that and then you're just gonna go to the effects library and under video transitions you can find it by writing multi-flat transition and you just drag it but it doesn't let you add it in the middle the reason for this is that in order for a transition to work like these these fusion transitions if you have a video you need to have a few frames that you cut from at the beginning of your video so that the transition can be put right in between like that and that's how you would fix that issue and then here these are different things you can change if you want to take the motion blur out you can do that so they are a little bit more sharp you can like alter these the way that it shows that it has three different shades is actually because i play around with the alpha channel here so that adds sort of like three different layers that you can play around with and the cool thing is that it's multi and the reason why i call it multi flat is because of the angles here and you can flip this so it comes from the other side right away or you can play around with the angles and it, i set it up so that it mirrors on the sides so it doesn't leave any like space on your screen uh without being filled so you can play around with these angles so then that will change the direction that the transition is coming from you can also change the basic ones and if you want to adjust the duration of this you can also just make it longer but that will depend on how long your clip here has how many frames your clip in between us so you want to have like a bunch of let's say you want to add it to be two seconds long you want to have at least 24 frames if if i'm correct you want to have at least 24 frames so that you can extend the duration of the transition like that so you see it it all depends the length that you can adjust each transition it's up to the amount of frames that you have cut from the first part of the second video that you have if you cannot afford to cut it right there at the beginning what it's gonna do it's gonna add right there on the side of this transition so that it will take the frames that are extra on this video at the end and sort of like use that as a guide to play for like to show right in between it you see how it's not on this clip anymore but still showing that remains of that that is because there's a few extra frames on these so if you don't remember to like leave some space before your video you can do that but that is pretty much how you would go about it and to download simply go to the link in the description and there you will see the download link you can also sign up for my email list if you want to receive updates and whatever i rarely send emails there but what i do is usually for giveaways or like coupon codes or things like that um so yeah that is pretty much it for this video i hope that you enjoy this transition you can add and play around with it if you want um you're not gonna be able to open it automatically in fusion like you are able to do with like adjustment layers and stuff but there is a way to do that if you want me to do a video on how you can do that so you can play around with it i can do it it just requires us to go into like the actual macro file and change a few lines of code there but yeah that is pretty much it for this video if you want to download these it's free uh, check the links below and there on the file there is actually the folder where you have to install this it's in the fusion templates edit and then you just the transitions folder so that it will show up here on this screen so that is pretty much it again and i hope to see you in the next video here in swabby bye